What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo uh, Edition. Eight box case break. Pikachu is number one. So, again, uh, my printer is kind of not working right now, so I just have to go with this one here. But everybody here, of course, did purchase their uh, team straight up, so I appreciate it, guys. I'll make it back to 100 just so you can see it a little bit better. But uh, you have a character sign. That means you won that from a team random. And uh, here we go. Who are the Huskies playing tomorrow? No, I mean, I, I really didn't expect Oregon to win week one anyways. Um, I was hoping it would be a little bit more competitive, but, it, you know, it just didn't work out. If it, you know, whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, they took care of business, yes, last week. You know, get their confidence boosted again. You know, obviously they play, like, Eastern Washington or something. So, I think uh, this would be a good test for them. You know? And I good for... Good for their season too, because you know when it comes out late in the season, and you know, got to show some some better wins on your on your uh, resume. I think this one could be a good one. But we'll see how it goes. Really? How about like didn't Wazoo upset somebody last week or two weeks ago? Week one. Alright, and I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'll probably rip four jumbos, and then we'll go through the hits, and then we'll do the next four. Baby brother bigger than the big brother, Chad? Honestly, your bias aside... There is no closing time, Kev. You sell it out, I'll break it tonight. <laughs> I told you guys, you know, if you haven't heard it already, Kev, I, I said, whatever you guys want to do tonight, I'll break it. By the time I catch up to my list at 1.30 a.m., if nothing sold out, I'm leaving. But if it sells out between one, now and 1.30, I'll break it. I'm just not going to create an R&B for it, so you guys have to sell it out straight up. You know, I'm a little backed up, so... Um, yeah, Mario look good, right? Mario look great. I mean, you know, it's not his fault. Atlanta just loves to, you know, blow big leads. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think Mario is the problem. <laughs> Hopefully he just showcases his talents. And if he's not, they don't want to keep him and be the guy, then, you know, he can go elsewhere in free agency. Yeah, just like I told uh, Anthony earlier, Chad, I'll stay as late as you guys want me to. I don't care. But I can't say that I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow. So just use and abuse me tonight because tomorrow I might come in at 2 o'clock and just say, you know what, I'm done at 10. So just take advantage. It's Friday night. Let's party. I swear, I hope you do it, Chad. I really do. Do it. Do it. <laughs> then I just won't even come in tomorrow. <laughs>
Not a boy. <laughs> So I like to hear Chad. Does Oregon play uh, Washington uh, in Washington this year, Chad? I'd love to go, go go out to a game one day. I'll sit with you Husky fans and we'll have a fun time. say that a lot of the jumbo cards are actually really stuck together like big time and the fact is that if they're this if they're this stuck together already that just means that next year and the years after that are gonna be super tough to like unstick Oregon at, this year at Orion it would be fun I kind of wanted to explore like you know, Washington a little bit more. Where are the Huskies? Where, 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 where's, where's their campus at again, Chad? Alright. Jacob DeGrom to two ninety nine. Yanni Hernandez. And how close is like Wazoo? Is it like USC UCLA? Uh, I have not, M. That is not scheduled to break till 1.15 uh, a.m. Pacific, so 4.15 Eastern. So if you want to check the break schedule. Oh, man. So that's really... Keston area, that's really far away. Wow. Alright guys, sorry, the cards are like really stuck, so I don't wanna make I don't wanna miss any autographs. Wander Franco. And a rookie autograph purple refractor of Giovanni Moran for the Minnesota Twins. Yeah, so w w what's what's the city that they're in, Chad? Like, is it even a big city? I think that's the reason why I think you guys are like the big brother. You guys are like kind of in the bigger city, right? Northern Seattle. Heston to 25.
Matt Verling. Oh, so you know, it must get wild out there then, Chad. It was just a college town. John Means. O'Neill Cruz, a refractor. Cedric Mullins. And Kyle Tucker. Eh, there's your boy. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. All right, I got five autos here. All right, that took a lot longer than I expected. I feel like the cards being stuck is not helping with the time. I think this might actually take me an hour. me how stuck these cards are already. Come on tops, you gotta do better. Chase McCormick. Jackson Coar. No, dude, it, it happens to newer products, I think, but that's what I'm saying, man. Like, if the cards are already getting stuck, it's going to be a B to rip these later in years, when years pass, because it only gets worse. That's why I'm kind of upset that it's already like that. It wasn't like this for Hobby, though. It looks like it's just Jumbo. Joe Ryan. So I'm hoping that we just got a bad case like that, but... Yeah, it, uh, it just it sucks that these cards are already this stuck. I'm just wondering if they really rush this, though. Siri. There's Wander Franco. Hopefully it changes, Travis. I mean, good thing is that we got... Actually, I feel like I pulled exactly this color earlier, too. <laughs> Hopefully it changes, man, but... So far, it's looking kind of similar. Zach Shorts. Dude, do you hear that? You guys heard that crack, right? They are so stuck together. Yeah. 
This is, I hate this dude. I hate this so much. This drives me crazy. John. Well, remember, guys, this is a jumbo edition, so we're going to see a lot of probably the same teams over and over. Since there are five autos. You know, last one we only got, what, 24? So we're going to offer a lot more. Shane Bass. But hey, good for the Astros. It's 199. Alex Wells. And Zach Thompson. Was that for the models too? Oh, yeah, that was five models. <laughs> Dude, for reals, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Brian. It, it looks like it's just jumbo, right? Because my hobby case was not like that. I just hate this so much, man. I really do. It just drives me crazy. You're dumb. He's a beast. Number 99. And a Patrick Mizeka. That is a gold to 50. He had three homers tonight? Dang. I mean, I just know he was a beast just in general, but... Tyler Gilbert. Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. That actually feels pretty good. Josiah Gray, former Dodger there. That is to 150 for the Washington Nationals. And uh, Washington Nationals is um, Keishon. What was that number? That is numbered. Yeah, it is to 99. Jake Berger. Whoa, what the hell is that? Romy Gonzalez. Jeez, that autograph, though. 
Running belts. Okay, I think this whole stack should be nice. I'll accept that part, but the majority at least. DJ LeMayu. And Ozzy Elvis. Just want to make sure one. Five. Yep, we got five again. Just double checking I don't miss anything. All right, last box, and then we'll go to the next four. Kyle Muller. to 99. And then Nate Pearson for the Toronto Blue Jays. That's going to PJ. to 299. Nice little Vladdy there. We hit a short print earlier. Muncie. Mason Thompson for Washington. Tyler McGill. Seth Beer. Chicago. Aaron Ashby. To 189 from Milwaukee. Uh, Demetrius with that one. Tatis. Peoples with uh, that one. Sunny Gray, Showtime, another Xander Bogarts, and Cruise Base, Jesus Christ, that's really stuck. Wander Franco and Ivan Castillo. Whew, that was the roughest box I've seen. St like for the card sticking wise. I think it's just because they didn't let it. Um, I think they let it dry fast enough, right? I think it was just, it was just too hot.
top of these autos. And then we'll continue on. What? No red runners here? What the hell? Not yet, man. We've only hit a Vlad short print. <clears throat> it's been the only short print I've seen. <clears throat> Alright. Next half. I can feel it already. Actually, this second half actually feels good. No, maybe it's just that pack. I just got the bat down. That's awesome, man. I know that warm up one too as well. We've had that here in the shop a couple times. I can't remember that one. Those, uh, I think they still came out in hobby, but I remember seeing them more popularly, like one per box, and like, uh, or more often in, uh, the disco prism. I think you can hit those variations in Hobby too, but they just weren't like silvers. I think they were just base. They were like super tough though. I remember having a couple Zions in the shop that were just base. 
Like variations. No silver to them or nothing. Yeah, man. Alrighty guys, here we go. Next four. We got an Tim Anderson. And Rodolfo Castro is our first auto. That's gonna go to Chad and the Pirates. There's O'Neill Cruise Base. Nice. Another Patrick here for the Mets. It's a 250, Ryan Villade. Trey Mancini. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. That's exactly what I was mentioning to Anthony earlier. Like, <laughs> this product, and even like a year or two, man, are going to be worse. Like, this tends to happen with products after like a few years, you know. Sometimes not even this bad, but yeah, this is no bueno. <laughs> Steven's in the 250. Yeah, Rosny Contreras.
I don't know, this just makes me think that they rushed this too much. And Glenn Otto. Man, you can't even see the autograph sometimes. That's for Texas Rangers. Showtime, Joey Gallo. This is good for us. Miguel Cabrera, that's not a short print, is it? You know what? I think that is a short print. Why wasn't it flipped backwards? Regular cards are out of 67. This one actually is 17. Why isn't it flipped backwards? So you're telling me that there's been a bunch of them we could have passed by that has been a short print? That's not good. Got to make it easier for us. <laughs> out of 17. I mean, it's kind of... It's, you can kind of notice a short print from a regular base, but... Like that one, but... Not always, man. Sometimes it's not really the same. Usually if they're in an action photo, it's something that they're not doing, right? So, like, the Vladdy was an action photo. The other one was, like, you know, Vladdy had, like, a, the jacket on and then his hands up. But that one kind of threw me off a little bit because I feel like that one should have been flipped backwards to kind of let us know. Kind of like they do it for Series 1, Series 2. But, hey, well, at least I caught it. Nice Miggy there, and that's going to go to Peoples, Sean Peoples. Cruz is running in his short run, so it means his base card. Okay, so he's batting here, and then he's running in the other one. Is it like horizontal, though? I mean, I'm penny sleeving anything, O'Neill Cruz, so I mean, obviously, I don't think I should miss it, but if I did, the, the shipping team would probably top load it, anyways. Joe Musgrove for the Padres. It's a nice goal to 50. Andre Franco. And Luke Voigt. Why are they still making him with Yankees? I thought from the Yankees he went to like the Padres and then he got traded and now he's like on his third team. Why are they still making him in Yankees uniform? Do they have three levels this year? Like they do usually for like tops, series one and series two, or 
Or what? Because maybe, maybe the super, super short print is like him sitting on a bucket. I mean, you would probably know more than I do, though. But Max Cranick. Jake Berger, negative. <laughs> I do too, Chad. <laughs> but just take it. <laughs> you could be going hitless. Jesus. And there's Max Cranick again. <laughs> yeah, Chad, there's some people here that haven't even gotten an autograph yet. <laughs> Alright. Just joking, Chad. I just want to hit any big rookie autographs, to be honest. Billy's going to Shangola. A nice Jake McCarthy. A little lava feel right there. Blue lava to 150 for the uh, Diamondbacks going to Steve. No, he does have autographs, Joe. It's just his his rookie cards are not like Wander Franco's where you're going to see them commonly like that. He, he doesn't have that. He's only a short print. Do you plan Water Franco. Yeah, no, in the beginning I didn't realize what he meant either, but yeah, then I looked it up like last week or when we started talking about it. But yeah, so it's like the Mariners are a big hit or miss, right? It's either you're going to find that super short print or the autograph or that's it. Like you're not going to be able to like stack up, you know, Wander Franco base cards. You know, or Neil Cruz base cards where those guys are just, they also have commons is basically it. So for Chad, you know what I mean? He was just like, yeah, if I can't even get a base card of him, like I, I, I don't feel just, I don't, I don't feel like it's worth it for myself. Don't get me wrong. There's people that will think it's worth it, you know, but it's just for, for Chad, which I get it, you know, because, you know, obviously Wonder Franco base cards like this will add up. Obviously you can still send them into grade and all that good stuff. So. But, yeah, I hope not. 
I really don't. I really hope that hasn't that hasn't happened. But if these are that hard to hit, but my thing is, what do you do? What if you announce that you have short prints, and then all of a sudden you didn't pack them in there? It was like a mistake, right? A, a mistake happened. Like, then what do you do? Like, what? You're gonna put them all in blaster boxes? Like, I just don't. I don't, just don't get it. Are they gonna have two waves? Are they gonna put them in like update Chrome and something like that? Like I, I don't know. Flaherty. Three fifty. Zach Thompson. Yeah, I mean the good thing is the autographs are there. That would be some real writing stuff right there. But for the, those other rookies, it'd just be super short prints and still people saying they haven't seen one live anywhere. That's it's a little frightening. But there is a lot of this stuff made, so I mean, maybe it is just as really rare as it is. But I mean, we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow is. You know. Connor Wong, Harrison Bader. Yeah, I, I just don't want to believe it just yet. I hope I just pull one right now. We just end that talk. <laughs> but I feel you guys though. Cal Raleigh. Trevor Rogers. No, yeah, one in twenty six thousand. So what? 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 What is one in every twenty six thousand? Let's let's just say hobby wise, right? Hobby is what twenty four packs. Is it twenty four packs? In a box, twelve boxes. That's only two hundred eighty eight packs. So that'd be like one in every seventy five cases, if that is the case. Yeah, Chad, but just imagine if they are in here and you pull one, how much money that stuff's going to go for. It's going to be stupid. That's what I'm saying. If they didn't insert them here, where, do, where are they at? I mean, I, I hope they're... <laughs> 
It's like we start ripping retail, and all of a sudden, light and retail just have two or three of them, like in every box. <laughs> it's like what the hell? I don't know, man. That's that's tough. <laughs> I know. That. Yeah, exactly. Like one box is gonna have like a ton of them. You know what I mean? Like, imagine. Oh man, that'd be so horrible. I think people would riot, honestly. It would riot. They'd go to Tops headquarters. Uh, please, no. Don't do this. Uh, I really hope it's not something like that. I know. Retail is going to be the most hottest product. <laughs> Wander Franco there. Riley Adams. Well, that's that's the thing. That's the thing, it's like, it, uh, I don't know. I just don't know how you would correct that. Because <laughs> I know a man, imagine. You just happen to take all the super short prints. Not very long. That might be it, guys. Alrighty. Well, not in this jumbo case. We still have another case to go, though. Alrighty guys, well there you go, that was the break, I gotta, I gotta top load all this stuff here, but there was all the autographs here from this last uh, couple boxes there, and then here's all the rest of them that I did get to top load, still looking for that elusive, we did get a short print though, looking for that elusive short prints and autos, bigger rookie autographs, but uh, like I said, we do have more cases up, number two is coming up next. Uh, appreciate it, guys. There's only a cruise there, though. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.